We communicate with God. That means enjoy God's presence through these ways. There are many ways. Always, I will say that, but I'll teach you what the Holy Spirit is teaching me. Number one, we communicate with God through worship. That means spending time with God through songs. You know, sometimes I come before God and I actually try to just start praying and God says, sing to me. I've written so many songs based because God says, sing to me. And I just think, heaven and earth adore you, Lord. Angels bow before you. And I just, songs, he just puts songs in my heart. And I just, we have this fellowship based on songs. And I pray, God, draw me even closer to that place where I always come into your presence and just sing. So that's one of the ways. Another way you could enjoy communi regular communication and fellowship with God is through prayer. Regularly conversing, con regular conversation with God. For me, prayer is talking to God. You don't just pray in the morning. You don't just pray in the evening. You pray all day. You talk to God every day. <laughs> Think of it this way. Have you ever seen two twins that are attached to each other? Anyone have seen? You know those people with, that are kind of, they're attached. This, yeah, what do you call it? CMS? CMS twins, whatever she said if you can hear her. <laughs> Twins that are attached by, side by side. Can you imagine those two people attached side by side, walking all day, never speaking with each other? Never at all saying a word to each other. And even if when they want to do, then what this one on the left will say, oh, you know what? Let me go and speak to my pastor so that my, my mom, so that my mom can speak to you that is next to me. Just picture that natural thing so you can understand that Bible, when the Bible says that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit, the God lives in you. So you're every day working with God on a day-to-day -day basis. Why should you then pray only in the morning and in the evening? Well, one hour in the morning and maybe 30 minutes in the evening. No one should give you time. That's why we started by saying no one will teach you again to know the Lord. He lives in you. He watches over. Don't make me sing that song, guys. Don't make me sing it. <laughs> I've been told not to sing. I love that Lion King song. He lives in you. Okay, sorry. Just a bit. Okay, moving on. <laughs> and <laughs> number three on that one is study. We spend time and we enter into enjoy God's presence through study. What that means is spending time with God through his word. You can, it can never get old. We were taught when we were growing up, read your Bible, pray every day. Pray every day, pray every day. You can never get old reading God's word. He has a reason for this, writing the scripture for us. Bible says all scriptures are written by the inspiration of God. So read your Bible, speak to God and pray to him. These are ways where we enjoy and enter into his presence. Hallelujah.